Why James Webb is our only hope to find aliens. This year will mark a new chapter in the search for extraterrestrial life, when the most powerful space telescope will start spying on planets that orbit other stars. Astronomers hope that the James Webb Space Telescope will reveal whether some of those planets harbor atmospheres that might support life. Now, identifying an atmosphere in another solar system would be remarkable enough, but there is even a chance, albeit tiny, that one of these atmospheres will offer what is known as a biosignature, a signal of life itself. So, is it possible to find life on other planets? Let's find out. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about why James Webb Telescope is our only hope to find aliens. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. As the successor to the famous Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful telescope ever built. This new device will give humanity a glimpse of how this universe came into existence in the first place. And when were these galaxies formed? Astronomers and cosmologists want to use Webb to study supermassive black holes, believed to occupy the centers of distant galaxies, and to map the dark matter around galaxies to reveal more about the mysterious substance thought to make up most of the universe. The web is the answer to all of the unanswered questions about the universe, as it will explore what has not been explorable until now, and according to scientists, the web will surpass the Hubble telescope in several ways. The Hubble telescope is the predecessor of James Webb, and it was launched in the year 1990 to study universe. Hubble has meant so much during its 30-year run as it has sent us unforgettable, jaw-droppingly beautiful images like those of the Lagoon Nebula and the Pillars of Creation. It's also taught us about the age of the universe, about what happens when stars explode, about black holes, helping us build boundaries which the web will push forward. It is believed that Webb will allow astronomers to look not only farther out into space, but also further back in time, as it will search for the first stars and galaxies of the universe. In addition, it will allow scientists to make careful studies of numerous exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our Sun, and even embark on a search for signs of life there. But the question is, how will the Webb outperform Hubble? The Webb has two major advantages over Hubble, and the first one is its size. Hubble was about the size of a school bus, but the Webb, on the other hand, is more like the size of a tennis court. Strawn has also praised its size and said, This thing is enormous. Webb is by far the biggest telescope NASA's ever attempted to send into space. However, it's not the size which is going to make the Webb extraordinary. When it comes to reflecting telescopes, the key component is the size of its curved mirror. The more light you can collect in this bucket, the fainter and farther away things you can see in the universe. Hubble's mirror was an impressive 7.8 feet in diameter, and comparatively, Webb's beautiful gold-hued mirrors combine for a diameter of 21.3 feet, which overall amounts to more than six times the light-collecting area. To put it in simple words, let's consider one of Hubble's most famous images, the deep field. In 1995, scientists set the Hubble to stare off into a teeny tiny patch of sky and capture as much light as it could from that one spot. As a result of this, Hubble uncovered thousands of galaxies in this teensy patch of sky, helping us refine the number of galaxies thought to exist in the universe. It was not just an image, but it also helped reveal Hubble's power to act as a time machine, because in astronomy, the farther the things are, the older they are. Therefore, Austin Casey is very confident about the performance of Webb in this regard, as she has stated, What Webb will do is take that field and go even further, so the tiny specks of light in the background of the Hubble deep field will brighten, become more detailed, we'll be able to see spiral arms, we'll be able to see structure, and then we'll get more specks of light and even further in the past. We're seeing farther back in time with Webb. So Casey and other astronomers are very hopeful that the Webb will help them understand the end of the Dark Ages and figure out what caused the fog to lift, ushering in Cosmic Dawn. The second advantage the Webb has over Hubble is the amount of light it collects. 
The Hubble telescope can collect visible light, ultraviolet, and a little bit of infrared, but the Webb is primarily an infrared telescope, so it sees light that's in a longer wavelength than what our eyes can see. Because space is constantly expanding, the farthest things away from us in the universe are moving away from us. Let's make it simple. Imagine a star that's really far away in space, and the light from that star may start off in the visible spectrum, but it gets stretched on its journey to us, getting redder and redder. So eventually, these very different stars and galaxies grow so red that they drop into the infrared spectrum. Webb can see this ancient light that has become invisible to the human eye. So it's clear that the Webb is going to revolutionize the space industry. But what took so long for it to launch? Well, according to scientists, the size of the telescope was a major obstacle for its launch, as there are not any rockets big enough to launch it. So this is why the telescope had to be folded up inside another rocket. While Hubble was launched to around 340 miles above the Earth, Webb will be almost a million miles away, that is, four times the distance from Earth to the Moon. Furthermore, it will be far away for a good reason, because Webb is an infrared telescope. It needs to be kept cold. The Earth itself is warm and glows infrared. So the Webb will orbit around what's called a Lagrange point. This is a point in space where the telescope can keep cold and also stay in line with the Earth as both orbit around the Sun. Now let's talk about how James Webb will make it possible to discover alien life on other planets and stars. With the help of the Webb, the Space Observatory will investigate whether planets outside of our own solar system are suitable to support life. To confirm the existence of life, cameras on the telescope will take images of other planets to look for the presence of water or any other hints of existing life. Since 1995, astronomers have discovered more than 4,000 exoplanets. But only a handful of these have been photographed. The overwhelming majority have been found by measuring the subtle effects that they have on their host stars, either by shaking them slightly or periodically blocking some of their light. However, James Webb promises to do better. According to Professor Martin Barstow, a scientist who helped develop the device, James Webb has the potential to discover extraterrestrial life forms in space. As he said, We will learn about the origins of the universe and how life came about, and possibly, although we can't guarantee, about other life in our galaxy as well. To support him, string theorist and science popularizer Meichio Kaku believes that James Webb Space Telescope will find life on other planets, as he believes that we are on track to find alien life within a century. Meichio stated, Soon, we'll have the Webb Telescope in an orbit where we will have thousands of planets to look at, and that's why I think the chances are quite high that we may make contact with an alien civilization. So scientists and researchers are very hopeful about the success of James Webb to discover new signs of life in space. And all this will only be possible because of James Webb's extraordinary design. As James Webb will see the universe primarily in infrared light, so once its lurking golden eye opens, the observatory's exquisite sensitivity will allow the telescope to spy the faint, faraway signatures of the first stars and galaxies that populated the universe. That sensitivity will also help it directly observe alien worlds, though nobody could have planned to use the telescope for this purpose when it was designed. However, the first step of getting to our alien friends is to know about our exoplanetary neighbors, and after that, the second step will be to discover the alien life living on them. So with the help of something like James Webb, the alien discovery might just be around the corner. And this is it for today, guys! What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.